Usually we start out when there's a new project, um, I'll do a PowerPoint or a slideshow, show it to the students. Um, I'll have examples on hand to show them finished pieces, pieces in progress. Um, a lot of times we'll go over to a machine and we'll demonstrate a lot of the techniques hands-on. And then after that, they will actually, you know, they do their hands-on work after that. So it's sort of a progression. If someone's talking to you and they're going on and on about a subject, you might like zone out. And visual learning doesn't let me do that because you're looking at something. Okay, exhibits are designed focusing on various learning styles by including the idea that people have to hear, see, and touch. Hearing at actually usually comes from the interpreter who is interpreting the exhibit. The visual, of course, is in the exhibit and where possible we try to put something that can be touched that will help to make it real for the public. Some students learn better by actually doing and hands-on. Some students need a lot of prep beforehand. We go through the steps, like with the project, sometimes they're listed out every single step. And if a student isn't sure what to do next, I always say refer to the you know, instructions that are posted for every project. So whether they're a visual learner or a hands-on learner, they should be able to accomplish the project most of the time. For visual learners, we show, of course, the animal itself, if that's what we're focusing on, or the habitat itself, with an animal in the habitat, and uh, signage that is relatively brief because it's really easy to overwhelm people with too many words. <laughs> 